New at 6, the Stanislaus County District Attorney has decided not to charge a Modesto police officer who shot and killed a Modesto man this past summer. The DA determined the police use of force was, quote, legally justified. And as ABC 10's Kurt Rivera explains, new information has been released on what led up to the deadly encounter. Thursday afternoon, July 14th, 2022. 30-year-old Paul Chavez Jr. holds what police say was a trailer hitch in front of a home on Entrada Way. Put that down. Put that down. According to a letter sent to the Modesto police chief from District Attorney Birgit Flatiger, a person called 911 saying his son-in-law, Chavez, was drunk and threatening his life. The caller said his wife had left to pick up pizza and was concerned what would happen if Chavez was outside when she returned. The caller even asked dispatch for, quote, permission to shoot him. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Yeah. Not complying with the officers, Chavez was tased twice with, quote, no effect. When one officer perceived Chavez, quote, leaned towards the other officer while starting to, quote, lift the trailer hitch at the same time, Chavez was shot twice, collapsed, and died. Really just want to, you know, get justice for my husband because he was wrongfully shot and murdered. They took one of the strongest members of our family out. But the DA also said Chavez had prior issues, including, quote, a pattern of getting drunk and causing problems or trying to fight, as well as, quote, recent behavior demonstrating suicidal thoughts and actions. His blood alcohol level the day he died, 0.26 percent, over three times the legal limit to drive. The Modesto Police Department recognizes and respects the value of all human life. Officer-involved shootings are a tragic event for everyone, our officers, the community, and the family members of those involved. Now, attorney John Burris, who represents the Chavez family in a lawsuit against the city, tells ABC 10 he is not surprised by the outcome. In a statement, he says the officers should be criminally prosecuted.